with what you see here this is Schumpeter here area here if you see Schumpeter that's one of the first locations it was bullet here but this was not not it second location you're gonna see it's gonna be location on a Slotnik now this is where Shoigu came out kind of stupid because look at his names here Our names like let's say Adolf let's say Adolf Yosef uh, and so on the names like Sheshko, Kukman, Golot, Grigorchich, Gorenz, Yerman, Ersh, Gottlieb, Betzer, and so on. Uh, these people got a completely, Russians got a completely, completely wrong idea about where they were. The name of the country is Slovenia. Um, there were none of those typical names you would encounter let's say in Russia these are the names you would say completely unrecognizable right yet this these are all partisans here these are all partisans these are all the people that gave their lives for this country they gave their lives for the Slavic unity they gave their lives not only for Slovenia but for Yugoslavia they gave their lives for the Soviet Union, literally. Hey, you would be surprised what kind of names you're going to find here. These are the names from here, the names of the native people from here. And so the Shoigu came really stupid here. He came out really, really stupid. He, he started to make a deal out of names and got himself in an awkward position, situation. It was absurd by the people. The whole thing was becoming absurd. And not in this location here. I know the people here still from the near houses that participated in this stuff and so on. But in the next location, situation became so absurd something I completely disagree with uh, but it's how people saw it people didn't see themselves anymore in this here in this see this this is these are actually what victims to the to the to the to the look I don't know if you can see that sickle and hammer can you see it Sigmund and Hammer, can you see that? This is actually a memorial dedicated to the victims of neo-Nazi fascist, Italian fascist, neo-Nazi German madness here. The people who were killed as a hostages due to neo-Nazi terror. Yet these people who came here from Russia, Chetnik people who came here from Belgrade, they would not understand any of this. They, they didn't get this. On the next occasion, I will demonstrate to you just how awkward the situation became how awkward the situation developed for us how those people how awkward they have developed situation for us native Slovenian people because I personally I adhere to that this is what I see myself in in this thing here there are people who try to take this away from me but they never will like I said I'm a member of national resistance and I really am proud so too so let me take you to the next location that next location that's on a Mali Slotnik and I'm gonna demonstrate you physically what they have accomplished with their stupidities 
what kind of awkward situation for us, for myself, for the people here, this people who came from Moscow, from Belgrade, they have created here in Slovenia for us. Here in this place, this is one of the locations. Yes, I was, I was humiliated. Humiliated basically in a sense that people who did something like that, they made fool out of themselves. They know this very well today. Okay, and I am right now here at the third memorial dedicated to the partisans, dedicated to the national resistance. Look, this one is dedicated to the national resistance. See, there's Pomin Padlim Borso, uh, partisans basically. And again, you can see the name here natives, Sinichar, Hren, Sladek. Champel, Vidrik, Senichar, Onichik, and Tekanate. These are Slovenian names. These are not Soviet or from anywhere else for that matter. These are just people from here. These people here. Native people here, basically. Partisans. This is what this country is based on. This is what this nation exists. Why this nation is here. Now, as I walk down here toward this direction, as I'm about to head right here, a little further, I'm gonna head back home, basically, that way. <laughs> yeah, that way. As I walk down here, I did pass through next to two memorials. One memorial removed is memorial that is right next to the house of Mr. Rudy Moravitz, that's basically my teacher, a gentleman who teach me a math, who tutored me a math and physics. That's the memorial they said we don't want there anymore. Another memorial, this way down, I pass one. I'm going to demonstrate that on the map once I get home. Today, by the way, is still March the 17th, 2021. Why say this? Oh, I say this. I'm using the two phones, you see, to record this for you as legit as possible because it's an evening. Why did I mention this memorial being removed? When humiliation against me took place here, this was different. This is, this is, when I was brought here to this place, this was like in a shape, like, like not a good shape, you know, not a good shape, not in a good shape, like this, um, still in a good shape, but not with a marble, not like, like, with a surface, this is marble, no. It was not like this. Beautiful, just as it is right now. The only thing they did was they put the marble on the top. That's because Troigo just basically behaved uh, stupid, foolish, idiotic to the point, to the degree that's why the other memorial also was removed. It's something because he behaved idiotic. People were poisoned. People were killed. I was submitted to humiliation, public humiliation. You see this thing here that's missing? You see this here? This stuff that's missing here? That stuff right there that's broken. When they place this new here, Already when they place this new here, already here the people where they observe this stuff, they were so pissed off with the people who were doing this stuff to me. They told me already back then that when they're going to be doing this stuff, once they put this all new, this stuff, they're going to do this stuff, the, the only thing that's going to do is they're going to go and break. One time with maybe a truck, another time with maybe a car, another time maybe with a bike. God knows how they destroy these things. 
but it was not a coincidence because I was told that's going to be the case with this statue and I'm asking please not to do this because we are more than a Russian mafia we are more than a Chetnik state we have to continue the values because of which we exist as a nation there is no nation this nation here without national resistance without the partisan tradition there is no future for us there is no nation there is nothing for us we cannot go according to the bad apples we have inside of the system borat power have everything absolutely everything to do with it absolutely everything to do with it the worst of the worst as far as Sveta Gradisha, I'm going to say like this, the guy, yes, he knows absolutely everything about this stuff. I'm going to say even his son, even his son hit me, even his son spit in me, even his son abused me physically, psychologically. That's a Sveta Gradisha, that's a psychiatrist who hospitalized me in 2011. He came to Mero Berger and he hospitalized me. In fact, it was a huge difference between my neighbor Mero Berger and him. Sveta Gradishar was extremist. Sveta Gradishar was an individual who went beyond what Mero Berger alone approved. There was a huge difference. The two parted two different ways. Mero Berger was actually afraid of Sveta Gradishar. That's the type of person we are talking about here. We are talking about the same. We're talking about the two friends that know each other for a very long time. But, but the problem with Sveta Gradishar is he went a little bit too extreme even for the Miro Berger. Sveta Gradishar have a lot to explain about this stuff. From this memorials here, there was other memorials that took me. There were villages over there, they also took me. Whatever was like uh, on those villages, there is a memorial too. A place that is like, this was 95. Sveta Gradishar have everything to do with it. I don't believe that he was not present right there in the first day. Zhabia was where Milosevic came, Milosevic. Slobodan Milosevic. Karadzic. There is a Frata, there is a place like dedicated to the national resistance. They had me, they brought me drugged up over there, literally subject to the torture of my ex-schoolmates, like from childhood, people that knew me, did not get along maybe too well with them. I didn't pay attention to that stuff, but drugged up and basically thrown, humiliated, uh, told them God knows what they told them. There was like mega abuse that took place over there. That's the type of stuff they were doing. This is not with the idea to love the partisans. Obviously they had a completely different opposite from love for the partisan, opposite from love for the national resistance idea to do with me, right? So Sveta Gradisha, a member of the national resistance have absolutely everything to explain about his actions against me. Sveta Gradishar and the people who accused me eventually, who have written inside a psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana, Polia, not that only I was not aware of where I was, what time it was, what year it was. They have even written an accusation against me that I was the one who attempted to exterminate Slovenian nation. So Tsveta Gradisha was one of these people, these people who accused me of such things, participated in MK Ultra for things to get even worse. And these people have absolutely everything to explain about. Under this video, I'm going to post that original document where I was actually accused of attempt to exterminate Slovenian people. That this was my plan, basically. That this is what I was all about. Those kind of stuff they have written and accusations against me. So, Tsveto, no, Tsveto Gradisha knows about ruining me 26 years of life. 
So he's gonna talk about this stuff. He's gonna explain everything about this. First is first is time and date and I'm already late. Big time, late big time because you know why I'm late. Today is Thursday, it's March 18, 2021. I am late, really, really late because as I'm about to demonstrate you, yeah, it is here. Because of this issue here, I hope you will be able to see it. Yeah, there is nothing you can do. Um, the file I have created last night, the video, it's already uploaded to the internet. That stuff is 4.96 gigabyte long and it, it's just it's just it, it, it's only 75 minutes long but it's a really really good video and I don't feel like going out there and record one again it was pretty damn cold uh, um, it seems to me very reasonable good enough um, and I am not gonna go and do it again simple as this 4.96 gigabyte for a super low quality for just 48 uh, megahertz mono not even stereo for just 10 frames per second because they have done this shit to all my telephones not only in Poland but to all the telephones I bought here in Slovenia I ordered uh, from Slovenian companies, they were delivered to me through the internet, that's exactly what they go after. They modify telephones, they, that's, that's all they do. I don't know if this thing here is reasonable too, uh, I should say either, I have no idea if this is reasonable or not, I'm not even using internet right now or anything like this, um, but it's a really, really Wow, nice, eh? 105, 106. It was 120 when I started it. But still, 111, it's pretty decent. And this is the absorption rate 1.630. And I think it doesn't go any higher than this. I think this is what it stops. It's probably way more. How much is it? I don't even know. Oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> let me just see if this has something to do with it. Not really. Probably just because they're light. Uh, everything I get before I get, uh, before it's delivered to me, because I don't have the money to go to the store and buy from the store, they get they gave this stuff through the discounted rate. Um, Everything I get is like uh, like this, basically. These are micro Teslas you see right there. All the telephones are like this. Everything is like that. If I was to use another camera, another camera, uh, it would be the same thing like they have done to me back then when I demonstrated you. I think it was 2018, just before my departure to, where did I go to? I saw that in Poland, in Poland. I did go to Poland and I had to sell the telephone, so I had money for the tea, actually, for the coffee and for the tea, uh, inside of immigration center. This is how that was. And so, I was gonna say, You cannot even record with other programs that you would use for the software. I don't know what they do with them, but any anything I would use where I could actually specify number of frames per second, uh, bits per second, everything is just uh, messed up. Here I'm going to give you an example of the file I have video recorded with exactly what type of quality I have video recorded. It's this here. Uh, it's exactly what this thing here is. It's like, let's say, 264 megabytes. And 
the quality is regular HD and it's just 10 frames per second and the rest of it is what you see here data rate 9000 KB per second total bit rate 9125 KB per second uh, and you have a bit rate 127 KB per second and you have mono look you don't even have stereo or anything and all your simple rate is just 48 kilohertz um, how they do this stuff I don't know I know that I had uh, like Olympus camera small camera that would also do videos and it would be like for uh, I think like five minute recording uh, it would consume probably about one gigabyte or something like that or maybe even more so that I couldn't I couldn't even um, and it's something they told me they would do uh, I I have to convert a bunch of audio files video files and stuff like that because it's they do this stuff in order to eat uh, the space basically that's the idea to modify to modify everything I have uh, cameras androids everything I had along the way to do that still the cards the SD cards still the, still the memory sticks you know that was the strategy from beginning obviously to very today which is again March the 18th 2021 let's go to the business ladies and gentlemen it's like this yeah I couldn't transfer this file I couldn't upload one anywhere to the internet because it's five gigabyte long that's part number one which later on I did uploaded one straight from the telephone to the internet that's how I got it done and I did use um, a router which is actually a broken router two of the laptops I have here I couldn't create access point so that I would upload through the Wi-Fi this to the internet the transfer rate this morning when I tried to transfer the 5 gigabyte file to uh, the SD card at first was just like 600 kilobyte per second it was a disaster uh, and it appeared to me as if simultaneously it would be uploading or transferring maybe I don't know maybe through the Bluetooth I have no idea what it is the file elsewhere so from internal memory card to external memory card SD card therefore uh, and simultaneously it appeared to me that this thing would be uploading it to somewhere else and it appears so because once I closed down 4G maybe it was through the 4G I have no idea uh, maybe it did eat me the internet because the internet rate went up like this um, maybe it just reduced the file or something like this video file or maybe just extracted the sound I have no idea I don't know look I don't know about these things I was told that whenever I would be doing the stuff like this it would be either mouse or whatever they, they would be put the Bluetooth and with this whenever you would plug in it would connect to uh, to the some kind of local server or something like this and they would get data before I would whatever I would record whatever I would do before I could do anything funny because once I put the air, airplane mode the transfer rate went up to 8 megabits per second which was like 10 times faster all of a sudden it actually worked the card the transfer from internal memory to the SD card actually worked but it didn't work because the maximum that you could transfer was just 85 percent at 85 percent every time transfer would just simply fail this is the way this is Bluetooth is limited to four gigabytes that also didn't work and who could have thought that just for 75 minutes of recording for so poor uh, recording I would get uh, a chance and still let me just go and let me demonstrate to you this stuff this is really interesting this is the program I used for let me demonstrate this one here this this camera here I did so because other programs like I said as soon as you would this was filmed at night especially if you would use other programs it would not even see me 
it would be completely dark picture. I don't know how this is done. But when I did use this stuff, and I can demonstrate to you, uh, this stuff under the settings, as you see, does not have absolutely any other function than uh, what has got self timer, you get for the photo size, and you get a watermark, and it's got tagging feature, and it's got buffer and auto flicker, and what is this here? Touch, I don't know, touch anti flicker, geotagging, picture size, shutter sound, touch shot. That's all there is to it. Okay, there is no, there is nothing else. And then you also get to choose basically the size. That's funny because that's what it is. The size was. Um, you 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 get to pick the light if if the light is gonna be on, and you get to pick this kind of stuff too. You get to pick that kind of stuff. And um, and boy, that's about it. Then that's what you get to pick. And you don't get to pick anything else, really. You get to put. Oh, you get to pick the. Oh, there you go. You get to pick uh, the resolution. You can see right here. Uh, either it's 720 or it's. 1080 as you know or or what is it on 19 or whatever 1080 1080 pixels okay so i got the lowest one 720 now who would have thought that for 75 minutes of recording i'm gonna get punished like that it took me boy eight hours to get this done i'm not kidding just just more than that to get things done so i'm not going i'm not heading anywhere today uh but since this was recorded last night that's what's interesting they already followed up on me today when I took my mom and my dad to a dentist and to the store. I had a complete palette of people that would pop up. A doppelganger from Mr. Tsveto Gradishor popped up over there. I have eventually took a tag number from his vehicle, description of his vehicle. Um, it was the man who was involved in MK Ultra that would be like this. At uh, at the dentist and would look at me, he would stare at me and uh, according to that, Sveta Gradishar is not just somebody just like that, that he would be tough with me and I don't know what, that I better watch out, this is what they brainwashed under MK Ultra. they further brainwashed and it was some older people, nice looking people, pleasant looking people, uh, which they suggested under MK Ultra that uh, it will all depend on uh, what am I going to say, what am I going to say, well, I, the only thing left for me, for somebody who loses 26 years of life on this, is just to tell the truth, there's nothing else to say, really, if the truth insults somebody, I'm not going to even apologize for it, uh, people like myself, I don't know any, but I know that anyone else for that matter would not apologize, so that's that. This was a big deal uh, for the leadership of the National Resistance Front, Osvobodilna Front of Slovenia. It was a really, really big deal for them. Not a big deal when it should have been a big deal, but it was a big deal, let me explain. When I would go to Tarska Gora, okay, the church that I have taken you to, Okay, we're just going to do it like this. It's not too far from our house. This is just on the opposite side of the river uh, in the hills. Okay, so now if I do zoom myself in. Uh, this here, this would be our house here and the church I have taken you to. Uh, that's a good place to go about uh, if you try to get in a shape it's it's <coughs> it's good and it's a good place for
this would be the church I have taken you to this is this beautiful church uh, to this place here we would go uh, actually I would go uh, it really it really bothered me it, it was really really heavy this is a statue dedicated to Louisa Slock um, now these are better pictures I made last night so I didn't miss anything look and you can get to see even on inside uh, I was all, always had Alexander Vucic going along me this is a Chetnik from Serbia um, his mentor was I'm not gonna say a serial killer but really I don't know how you would call a maniac, a genocidal maniac who murdered all over Bosnia and Croatia uh, anywhere they range from Karadzic, Vojslav Šešel and of course Mr. Milosevic and Mladic and so on these were his mentors this is how this boy grew up he is he grew up to be a president of Serbia this is what he is today he's a president of Serbia quite apologetic right uh, that's where that's how I would travel to this place with whom I would travel to this place now the locals told me don't you worry you know don't worry about it you know that we are watching and this and that uh, something I am really really grateful not because it would uh, not that it, not because I would worry I uh, hear you know the locals didn't know about me being taken to Serbia and I receive on average 30 death threats and I think the record was like 50 per session they did not know nothing about my whereabouts where I was they didn't know nothing about that I was inside of the prison in the Moscow and in the loggers over there in Siberia and stuff like this where they take where they used to take political prisoners and where they still take them like the worst offenders they knew nothing about the stuff my whereabouts where I was taken through Ljubljana to what what places uh, where in the in the globe I have found myself so but really really what is really really meaningful to me is that it was people that would come out and do act of uniting us as a nation because this is what we need I'm not doing this because I would want to break this nation or something like that this nation is based on let me explain to you it's called Oswobodilna Front on this thing here this is a national resistance this is this is based on uh, this nation without this we would not even exist um, yeah this this we had a common goal with uh, Serbs with the Croats with Bosniaks with everybody from Yugoslavia and with the Soviet Union with all the people with all the people of course Poland and Czech and so on who fought for the freedom for their existence not for the freedom but for the existence because the plan was clear was to exterminate Slovenian people so I'm not doing this because I would want to uh, you know break this nation for me going against this thing here is going against yourself now it was really disappointing sorry I did not even demonstrate it this well for me it was really really disappointing to note it was really really disappointing for me to note that the people had to come out and do something brutal as I have explained um, for certain people our people to understand to wake up basically to wake up from from I don't know that's what I'm asking myself was it was it a cover this was it was it a, some kind of chance from 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 fear from what was it maybe it was a fear Borat Pahar was a fear monger he would fear monger people he would scare people he would terrorize people that's one of his specialties blackmail people 
so I don't know but I know I appreciate just when seeing those that were taking some kind of pledge against something really sacred there's nothing in this country more sacred than memorials dedicated to a national resistance front to the partisans and to engage in this kind of uh, rituals at the memorials is to actually desecrate our nation our country our people it goes deeper than relationship with the Russia it goes deeper than relationship with the Serbia it goes deeper than relationship with anybody it goes straight into us ourselves that's not good that's bad stuff the heads of the National Resistance Front did not realize any of this stuff instead they dispatched police to investigate people in area in Tershka Gora and so on Borat Pahor dispatched his dogs to intimidate people with the police but it was entire region that grew up into resistance against the police and the police local police no longer could control they no longer could stop the wave that was coming it wasn't that people what finally wake them up would only be forced to step out of the membership from national resistance but it was a wave that built in the people anger watching me stuff done to me at this memorials that made them understand there are too little as a police station too little as whoever they are to stop anger that was building in people but regardless of that unapologetically they started to suggest me that I am the one that will have to save this movement even. It came to the point that they would come and and it's something that that's really, really strange stuff. Really, really strange stuff. After they realized that members of the National Resistance started to leave, committed people started to leave the organization, uh, they started to finally understand what the hell they have done here what this thing was this was more than just the secretion of this memorials dedicated to the partisans dedicated to the hostages of the German Italian hatred then they woke up somehow and they started to condition they started to talk about what is going to be after and this and that. They started to, it was like a real uncertainty that built in them. They, they weren't sure how this is going to, how this whole thing is going to end. And this is what's funny about this. You know, when I was guided like a dog, literally, like a dog, literally, you drugged up and you walk. And because they do so many stuff to you like this at the places like this, it's of course unpleasant. It, it, it's that reflex mental movement that comes out of your head that rejects automatically. As soon as you would see the memorial, you would feel like you want to puke, literally. And it, it, it's interesting in me, even already when they would stop this, this threats and that kind of stuff sometimes in 2003 they would stop this they realize this is going nowhere I was unapologetic I was not allowed to talk I was not allowed to answer I was not allowed to think I was only allowed to hate that's why when I think about Alexander Vucic when I think about the Serbia the only thing I eat think about is a hate 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 and I hate hate I hate it because I'm not a person to hate and every time under MK Archimonde they would guide me like a dog as soon as I would see the memorial I would be like ready like to puke literally 
And when they would ask me if I see it, it would be like automatic that I would start to revolt against, even physically. Automatic, you know, automatic, automated. It was time already when they started to demonstrate that they removed the statues because the locals, their blood started to boil. They wanted this memorials removed. And I'm saying, I'm telling you, for all the wrong reasons, people, because this is, this is, this is, this, this is, how can I tell you? This is not the fault of our people who died for you, for us, that the idiots are so incompetent. This is not their fault. They, they did not know that something like this ever is going to happen. They didn't know somebody's going to come from Moscow, from Serbia, and he's going to use that kind of issue to spit on us. They had no idea about that kind of stuff. They had no clue about something like this is going to happen. Russians were doing this stuff in Russia, like on a assembly line. They would go and they would do this to their own people. And the only thing they would do is they would share the tapes with one another from the top down. And so that's how they would get the whole society to, to hate certain people. They would target certain people and that's how they would destroy them. Literally. This is this was a technology. Um, our people eventually fought against the Soviet Union. They took a stand with the guns in their hands. Tito did. He did not allow no Soviet tanks to cross inside. He responded to that. The partisans they fought against Chetnik movement. It was I'm not gonna say like a cat and dog, but it just, it didn't go without the fight. Whenever the two would just meet across the field with one another, that's, it didn't go without fight. Um, it, it's, it's, really, it's really deep and nobody's connected more to the territorial defense, Territorial no Branda than Obramba more than this is like predecessor of Territorial Obramba, partisans. Partisans, this is the type of Territorial Obramba, our people, when they would grab the hand the guns in ninety-one when, when the Serbian tanks started to roar on the streets and they had planes dropping down bombs and stuff like this in Slovenia. It's when our people said let it be even like a Vietnam. But here you're not going to get nothing done. With guns here is not going to go through. Simple as this. We cannot hate is what I'm trying to say ourselves. And we have to build our country on a solid, solid base, solid uh, fundaments. We need a solid base, we need a solid ground, solid history. This nation, a little tiny little nation, does have one nothing but to be proud about itself and for that matter we're not going to waste partisan movement for that matter we're not going to throw you know national resistance front the most precious thing that we have away we're not going to spit on ourselves because of that yes it was terrible yes it was a bad stuff done uh, it was done by completely incompetent people people that should be ashamed of themselves and they probably were at that point for all the wrong reasons. They 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 became shame when they realized that their people no longer can handle. They're going out. They couldn't take it anymore. But that's okay. It wasn't only that members would leave. The statues locals demanded have them removed too. They did remove few statues memorials. I'm not going to say it's a shame. I believe that locals did exactly the right thing, just the way it's supposed to be, till this thing becomes clear what it is, because this is our job to do. It's our duty to even have memorials removed, to alert those who don't want to see about the situation, about the realistic situation, on how they are viewed as. Uh, these memorials have to come back. 
we are the one who have to take charge and bring these memorials back. I would like, I would like to do this. I want these memorials back. I want to ensure that these memorials are really well taken care of. Not because of the stuff these people talked to me about. These people did not really... If you ask me care about these things, these people just wanted to condition their shit, basically. These people were not in it for what they should be. But I am in it. I am in it for myself, for you, for your family, for us. That's why I'm in it. That's why I want this back. The truth is out. You know, the world knows. You have seen what was done. And whatever we have gone through, it was a lot of lives that was lost too. It only makes us stronger. It's not something to throw away, something to be ashamed of. It's something to build upon, something to build on. Something that if anything like this ever, somebody is trying to repeat, you have documents that you can use for the sake of your identity, for the sake of your progeny, for the sake of your existence. That's why. And that's why I want those memorials to come back. There's no reason to... to to push them away in any way. As far as I have written myself a few issues here. Marco Berger. Marco Berger is a son from Miro Berger. Same age like myself. We both grew up together. The entire school Osnovna Shola Gurm, entire school of Kati Rupena, and in Slovenia, and abroad, all over. There was a group called Leibach. And that was a music that was like... music... confused, strange, and at times even depicting neo-Nazi issues in it. But the music was like really, really, really rhythmic. It would really absorb our minds. It was just the music along ACDC, along Metallica, along Queen was very popular. This was just our generation that we would blast, listen night and day because the hell we didn't have these things yet like this. We didn't have all this stuff the young people have these days whatever or maybe even we had too much we were maybe spoiled here I don't know we 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 associate we would go out together and so on now the thing is that father his father was every week in 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 Belgrade I think that I am pretty sure that that Milosevic alone that anybody for that matter from Yugoslavia in Belgrade. I think that this was one, this, this is like, how can I tell you, if there ever was Udba, something like this, like a secret Yugoslav police, then this guy was in it. You wouldn't want to mess with him, because you would disappear. This is, this guy was like, this could be a president of Yugoslavia easily, is what I'm trying to say. This is a lawyer who's father, mother, everybody, this is a totally partisan family, the same from his wife. This is a completely national resistance family, completely completely non-affiliated with the Nazis. Actually, the Serbs have kind of a designated him later on here to handle everything for them, because this guy, this guy at any time, uh, and that's what actually woke in my mind to, uh, if his son was actually guilty too, because of the music, because they found, they went through everything, through them, from the medical records, through the music, from everything, they found music, the one I listened, but no wonder, because we grew together, we had the music like Sputnik, Ziggy Ziggy Sputnik, and you know, all kinds of weird music like that, and because of that kind of music, it was American music, he was a knowledge as uh, British music and so on. 
he was a knowledge as, as a neo-Nazi, like myself. And I had no, no shit, no connection with the Nazism whatsoever. With music, I was crazy like this. Um, like a young people are, basically, in music. He was so scared, so afraid. He didn't stay for too long in Novo Mesto anymore because of this. He ran to his wife, whom he met, to Ljubljana, finito, with, with Novo Mesto. He, no more Novo Mesto. Fear. Fear. Scared. Gone. But this is, like, beyond fucking insane. Excuse me. Beyond fucking insane. Beyond insane. I wouldn't think about in a million years that somebody like uh, uh, his son could become guilty of a Nazism and I don't know what because of the music he had. Marco Berger, that's his name, this is as devoted to the partisan movement as anybody possibly could be. Uh, to the Soviet Union, to Yugoslavia and everything. I kind of uh, was unhappy with him because of his pro-Yugoslav views. He was guilty, man. This is the type of people we got here from Moscow, from uh, from Belgrade, they came. I'm going to tell you straight what the hell this shit was. And I said to myself today that if he wasn't good for this people, and who the hell, which one of us here in Slovenia could be? Who would be good? Who would be good enough to, to, to carry their needs? And nobody. Nobody, not even a St. Peter up there that would come down and would put here, uh, I don't know, a Serbian or a Soviet Union, I, I should say a Russian or something, insignia or something like this. He wouldn't be good enough, I guess. And at the same time, they fit here this people that were trialed in, in Hague, in Strasbourg, for a genocide against other Yugoslav nations and so on. This is a completely insane controversial paradox situation as paradox is and insane as it gets, yet it's completely real. My personality, when compared to real-time personality, if I would match one with personality they developed under MK Ultra, you go and figure out yourself. Um, under MK Ultra, like I said, if, if I would see a memorial, the only thing I would go, it's like, I would have, like, it's, it's something would hit me in my guts. I would start to rebel immediately. From a pain and sorrow. And they would have to actually calm me. They would, they, they were like, calm, calm, calm down. It's, it, they realize what they have done. In real time, the only thing I would... It's actually, I, w I, I, I don't know. In my world, in real time, I did not even eventually imagine what it would be like to go and fight against the partisans. It didn't make, excuse me, but any fucking sense to me. But if I would go to, if I would by any chance see a memorial from the partisans, this is this is what's really interesting to me. I would have like, I would be like empty. I would not feel, you know, what otherwise should. I wouldn't be really passionate about it. I would be just like, oh well, you know, just like this, and just go away, basically in that sense. Because I felt that something really unpleasant happened to me during MK Ultra, a lot of unpleasant memories, meaning that I have consciously completely blocked. I would not allow, under any circumstances, stuff that they would have done to me under MK Ultra to interfere with my present, basically when I was not drugged up. I knew that it would be a deal basically too big to deal with. I knew in fact, and that's why I'm saying that nobody cannot say that 
this was not about driving me, attempt to drive me insane. That nobody could possibly deal with so much violence, with so much stuff that was done. If you would start to think about this stuff, uh, and oftentimes you had bullies waiting on you in front of their homes, looking at you, anticipating that you're gonna eventually develop some kind of for them productive uh, so they could accuse you, so they could rate you as violent or something like this type of attitude or something like this. I simply couldn't afford to think about it. So what I did was I simply neglected. I just didn't see it that way. I ignored that and looked my way, basically, which was um, a terrible loss of identity, I think. My ex-girlfriend uh, from Belarus, Tatiana, I'm not going to name her more than Tatiana, um, she reminded me sometimes of this music I had without even understanding, without knowing anything, because they had a bunch of these young people and from Russia and from Belarus, and they, they, interpreted, they, they interpreted them things the way they wanted to imitate and the way they wanted to see them and the thing about it is that to go and explain somebody issues I have explained to you in these two videos I am sure you understand today this would be the thing completely impossible it went likewise for other relationship relationships uh, which concerned area of let's say interracial relationships it was in practically was impossible like Indian Prime Minister gestured me one time that he found me a wife from India 100% that he found me a wife from India let me demonstrate to you He was involved, one of the oldest, thanks God that he was involved, this man. This is also a light, this guy. I like him a lot, just like I like Chinese president, I like this guy too. Modi. Modi, Netanyahu, the whole bunch of these people was involved in it, thanks to whom I actually managed to give you this whole thing, this account about what happened. He said, hey, hey, you're very easy to figure you out. You're very easy to figure I have a wife for you, this and that. <laughs> On the MK Ultra. Uh, and really was a younger, beautiful lady too. But as more they were trying to figure me out, they could never possibly figure me out. I couldn't even figure out myself. I didn't like the MK Ultra anyway. He said to me, he said, because they knew about... one third at least black girl a sisters from Miami mulata girls uh, my co-workers I have fallen in love with you know uh, when I was like 29 years old I was sure that I'm gonna at least catch one of the two I was completely crazy and everybody all the co-workers knew about me being so crazy about these girls and they like me, these girls. It was just, it didn't go through. Um, things got complicated, whatever. But I was completely crazy. And I would give anything in this world for these girls. And he said, I figure out, I figure out. As much as I was crazy about this too, about the girl that was completely crazy about me, I, I couldn't feel anything for her. It's a little bit difficult to explain. Because in my case, MK Ultra did not match reality. It was like two completely, completely, completely different, totally opposite from reality. Um, the worst, the worst. I came in the hands of the worst people in 95, not even in 96, but in 95. 
the people I got, the people they delivered me to, this was the worst thing that possibly could happen to me, ever. You couldn't do anything worse than that. These people were psychiatrists. Karadzic was a psychiatrist. Karadzic was my personal case manager. That's a Serbian Chetnik, Karadzic. Accused of genocide against Croats, Bosniaks, and so on. You, they couldn't, Mr. Trump couldn't deliver me to the people worse than that. It didn't get any worse than that. Uh, and so then they wondered, nobody could figure out, so many psychiatrists, psychologists involved in this, they couldn't come to common grounds about exactly what, how this, I'm just trying to explain not only about memorials but in general what exactly means the MK Ultra. Sergei Shoigu, who we did not come here completely first, he was one of the first people who came, but it was not. It was already too late. When when Sergey came, it was already a few sessions I have gone through that were pff, the worst possible. They did that stuff before he showed up. Um, Sergey Shoigu, in my eyes, in my view, in my from my perspective, this is not even a bad person. The way from my experience I had with him. He was really, really bad from the beginning, but he was like bad, like with everybody almost in the city. He would just go out there look for trouble, you know, and then demonstrate his decorations and even his gun and stuff like this. He was a bodyguard from Vladimir Putin. He was looking for trouble till eventually he realized that if he was in a bad place, one day in 98, he realized that he did in Schmichel, there is a, um, a restaurant. I think Chafidl is the name. And that's when he realized that so many people was armed that if he was in a bad place, he would have been already gone a long time ago. Already. He wasn't the only one who had a gun. Not even in a bad person, he completely acclimatized himself here, made friends here. When I, when I was brought back and he was here, I was almost... I, 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 I wasn't even sure that if he was not a local guy here. He had friends here, he completely acclimatized himself. He was happy to have me in Russia, in Moscow, presented me with both, with two daughters. This is a very nice person, but as much as he's not my problem, I don't resent him absolutely anything. I have just used him to demonstrate, to explain to you what exactly went on. From my side, from my point of view, this is the only person I have nothing against. I was disturbed with the Lavrov who create a big setup against me also through United States. He created a setup against me through a pilot who killed Kobe Bryant. He was Armenian and he had Kardashians involved in it. Entire family. If I would take their side and I don't know, I would have anything to tell you. In a war against Azerbaijan, in which I was even used, taken across the border to Azerbaijan to bully Azerbaijani people and stuff, I don't think that anybody of you probably would even listen to me today. That was Slavov. Medvedev, this was the same like Vladimir Putin, and it was several other of them that I don't have any kind of sympathy for them, I don't have any kind of feelings, uh, but I do like, I have to say, I like this, um, uh, I think it's a real Russian, Sergei Shoigu, but his problem, it's not myself, his problem really is Ukraine, because it was war crimes that was done uh, in Ukraine and he acted uh, under command of Vladimir Putin like you know his top executive basically general it's he's not my problem I don't resent him anything he's the only person I don't resent but as far as Sveto uh this is the gentleman you see right here this was uh, exactly the 
pose that you see here, this is exactly what, including the clothing, Hewer was a doctor uh, with a server Volkswagen today at the clinic. Pants and the clothing that you see, everything that you see, uh, with the type of boots he wears, everything, absolutely everything, um, he used basically to warn me about. And that's really, really outstanding because yesterday I did not even publish anything about uh, anything. Today, after I published the news, I went inside and I met this guy. I would not even... Mother told me to go to the... to purchasing, to the stores, do something, and instead of that I sat in the car and I was typing on a blogger. Uh, what can I tell you? This individual even bragged about how he destroyed Slovenian people in Yugoslav regime. He is a completely different cat from Miroslav Berger. Uh, psychiatrist versus economist, lawyer, um, and this psychiatrist is completely lost in his thoughts, I think. I think is not, is definitely unstable in my mind. This individual is unstable. This is the individual who came to Austria. He came to Austria. He came to, as I indicated to you, to the, to the Austria, as I would not want to go back to Slovenia. I don't know what the year was. Maybe around 2001, something like this. I don't know. They couldn't drag me anymore to Slovenia because of him alone because of people like this guy asking me with I'm going to repeat the way he talks uh, like really crazy emotionally like why you know wh why why you know how you know it's like why would you not want to go to Slovenia anymore why why the hell would you not want to go to Slovenia anymore well you know to me this is an act of madness this guy took absolutely no responsibility for the stuff he did. In fact, he used two other people from Nova Mesa, two other males, to lie, to mislead a decent people about myself. Not only to destroy me with his lies, but to mislead other people through his lies, literally about me. This is individual without any kind of conscience, I think. I read offline, and I'm sure every one of you did too, like separately, or at least you heard from people, I'm sure. In my family, I had a case like this. People who would commit no crimes during World War II, they would be sentenced to death or to a severe punishment just by being accused without any trial, anything, without any proofs. In modern age, you would say, when everything is based on documentation, when everything is based on digital audio recordings, uh, video recordings, and so on, you would say that this is actually, this is impossible. So I would think that it's a completely safe age that Nobody's nothing. You don't have to worry about anything. There's nothing to concern yourself about. You can just live freely, happily. Um, yeah, but what about if the people that who drug you up accuse you of something you have nothing to do with? And they keep accusing you of something, abusing you, blaming you for something you have nothing to do with. 
bring, keep bringing you back and insult you to the degree that you start to insult even what you think is saint to them. You know that it's something sacred, yet at one point you just snap and you return. And what about if over the course of that time that you're brought back to the same place, places, and it repeats, it goes on, it starts to develop into more and more situations like this, and you're reminded, yeah, but you said that already, remember? This is how it was. What about then? Because without any doubt, it's all video recorded. You do turn into a person you were initially over time. You do turn into what you were initially accused of. Sveto Gradishar was really, really good at taking away from me argument, basically taking away from me even want to respond taking away from me the desire to explain, taking away from me any kind of desire I would want to have in the future to explain about what happened. He was a bit down, basically. He would... He would kill your will, basically, for you to live, literally. To have any kind of wish, anything to explain it. To even think about things. He was really, really good at that. He really, really knew what the hell he was doing. So many times he repeated this stuff. 